All right, so I got a sump pump here that will not shut off. It continuously runs and runs. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the switch out to fix this. It could possibly be that your pump won't run and it may just need a new switch. Hey guys, today I'm gonna fix a Zoller Company sump pump. My sump pump is continuously running. The uh, float valve switch is not switching when it's down. It's not shutting the pump off. So I spent 27 bucks on Amazon, <clears throat> picked up a replacement switch. Uh, FYI, the switch does come with a gasket. Took me a while to figure that out. This is a Model 53. It's actually been in use for at least seven years. Um, I'm just going to fix the switch. I'm not buying a new pump yet. Whatever. Show you how I got it out. Alright, so straight to business. Let's crack the top off of this thing. Alright, so I'm just going to pry the top of this off and expose the uh, faulty switch. It's important to take note of your wire placement. Not sure if you can see in here, but it apparently has gotten wet. I'm just going to use pliers and pull these off. I think this is where the pump failed. I think water got inside here. So to pull the switch out, there's just uh, a little plate in here with two screws, and it comes right out. I'm going to use sandpaper to clean this up. Just smelling the switch. I can smell burnt electronic smell. Um, pretty sure that was the problem. And the new switch will just go back in the same way the old one came out. So I'm just going to use some silicone here to seal this up. I didn't buy a replacement um, <clears throat> piece. I'm just going to use the seal silicone. And I did put a little bit of silicone on the gasket just because I had it out. And this is pretty simple. It's just plug everything back in the way it originally came out. Really, this is only about a 30-minute job, guys. I, I'm pretty sure anyone could do this. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the switch that I used. This pump's been running now for uh, three weeks, um, and it's working flawlessly. All right, so, yeah, I use silicone. Uh, you really don't have to. Uh, this, I feel like I needed to put some silicone on. Definitely going to let this dry for at least three hours before I put it back in to the uh, sump well. Now, in theory, I should be able to plug this in and it should not run, and that will tell me if I got this fixed. Let's try it. Yep. It's probably not good to run this dry like this, but for you guys I wanted to show you. Got it fixed. So hopefully I can get a, a few more years out of this pump before I have to replace it. Uh, thanks for watching.